coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. The FAA UAS Symposium is flying your way. Airbus completes first flight for its commercial parcel delivery drone. And first test footage released of EHANK 184 manned passenger drone. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. The FAA and AUVSI will co-host the third annual FAA Unmanned Aircraft System Symposium on March 6 through 8, 2018, at the Baltimore Convention Center in Baltimore, Maryland. The symposium will bring together representatives from the FAA, other government agencies, industry and academia to discuss the latest issues related to the burgeoning use of unmanned aircraft and their integration into the national airspace system. There will be panels, breakout sessions and workshops during the three-day event. As it did at last year's symposium, the FAA will operate an on-site resource center to help owners and operators with airspace authorizations, waivers, understanding the Part 107 small UAS rule, and other policies and regulations. Economic prosperity and world-class leadership in this country begins with innovation, and the UAS community is leading the way. Don't miss this opportunity to get up-to-the-minute information on government regulations and to participate in hands-on collaborative discussions with the most innovative minds in the UAS field. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. A UAS Pilot's Code has been established to set forth rigorously developed best practices to enhance aviation safety. It is a collaborative product of the Aviators Code Initiative and University Aviation Association, with extensive input from more than 50 subject matter experts, offered to the aviation community as a free public service. The Unmanned Aircraft Systems Pilot's Code is a product of extensive research and peer review within the manned and unmanned aviation communities. The City of Louisville, Kentucky has made an application to the FAA that would allow it to become the first city to deploy automated drones to areas where gunshots are fired. The drones would be flown to areas where gunfire is detected by the city's new shot spotter technology. The application was made under the UAS Integration Pilot Program announced by President Donald Trump in October. Skywatch, a data analysis, risk assessment, and active risk reduction platform for the drone industry, has raised $2 million in seed round from F2 Capital, Verizon Ventures, and Caden Capital. Skywatch will use the financing to continue building its innovative platform, enabling drone service providers to track important safety metrics during flight planning, flight execution, and post-flight, and build on-demand insurance solutions. AeroVironment Incorporated has announced that its automated Quantix Hybrid UAS and AeroVironment Decision Support System analytics software are now available for sale through its authorized reseller network. According to AeroVironment, the technology is a powerfully simple to use and fully integrated drone and data processing solution delivering actionable intelligence for the farm. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Airbus helicopter Skyways Unmanned Air Vehicle has successfully completed its first flight demonstration at the National University of Singapore. The drone took off from its dedicated maintenance center and landed on the roof of a specially designed parcel station, where a parcel was automatically loaded via a robotic arm. Once successfully loaded with a parcel, the Skyways drone took off again and returned to land, demonstrating its automatic unloading capability. This inaugural flight demonstration follows the launch of the experimental project with the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore in February 2016 to develop an urban unmanned air system to address the safety, efficiency, and sustainability of the air delivery business in cities such as Singapore. The collaboration was subsequently extended in April 2017, with the Singapore Post becoming the local logistics partner to the project. 
This concept involves systems and structures that allow drones to land, dock with secure structure, discharge or take on payloads, and then fly off to other destinations. Airbus Helicopters is at an advanced stage of the Skyways project. The research and development phase is progressing well, with equipment and facilities installed at the NUS campus. Various tests are already underway, and the unmanned air system will be demonstrated in the university when the trial service commences this year. What started as an unmanned prototype has now demonstrated its ability to carry passengers. Ehang has released footage of the latest test flights of their self-flying passenger aircraft, or autonomous aerial vehicle. The Ehang 184 series is the world's first passenger drone capable of carrying a single person at up to 70 knots and in a 4-7 typhoon conditions. Among the 40 or so passengers who helped in this crucial testing phase were Wang Dong, deputy mayor of Guangzhou, and Ehang founder and CEO Huazi Hu. Hu founded Ehang in 2014, and since then, more than 150 technical engineers have conducted thousands of test flights including a vertical climbing test reaching up to 300 meters, a loaded test flight carrying approximately 230 kilograms, a routed test flight covering 15 kilometers, and a high-speed cruising test that reached 130 kilometers per hour. Despite the success, more emphasis will be placed on improving passenger experience and on adding optional manual control, giving passengers with piloting experience the choice to operate the vehicle manually. In addition, the company has already developed and tested a two-seat AAV with a payload of up to 280 kilograms. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.